Good morning, sports racers, and welcome to the Global Pandemic Crippling Anxiety Meditation Hour with Stephen Diabob. Uh, we have our COVID-19 test results back, and we're both negative. So as soon as I finish this video and we eat breakfast, then we will be packing up and we will be going to our friend's house. So, yay. <laughs> um, today's question is, how can I gradually increase the length of time that I meditate for? And um, we actually just sat and chatted about it for a minute. Um, because this is, uh, this is often a difficulty that we ourselves have. We, we get stuck thinking, oh, we have to meditate for one hour twice a day. It has to be one hour in the morning. It has to be one hour in the evening. And what we often end up doing is if we don't have exactly an hour, if we only have 45 minutes, we just won't meditate at all, um, which is a bit silly. And um, a friend of ours, who's a carpenter from Montreal, um, he's also a Vipassana meditator. And uh, last year he started a new job and his job required that he would wake up at 4 a.m. Um, just to make it to work on a normal schedule. And he said that waking up at 4 a.m., he found it difficult to wake up any earlier than that and that he would just meditate for as much time as he had in the morning. So uh, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and then he would go to work. And then if he had other time in the day when he got home from work or maybe a lunch, um, he would meditate and fill that time. Um, I, I think it's important not to force yourself into anything. Um, it can often become kind of a burden. It becomes like going to the gym or I'm going to run three times this week. Um, it, it can be a lot nicer uh, just to make your meditation practice something that you do regularly, regardless of how long you actually do it. Um, and this is advice for us as much as it is for anyone else. Um, the, the common literature will often suggest different routes, um, that, that do work to varying extents. Um, so one is just to not set a timer at all. Um, meditate for as long as you feel comfortable and you're happy to be meditating. And when you feel like it's time to stop meditating, you stop. And then check the time and see how long you meditated for. Um, and you can do that uh, after a few days. Um, you'll see if, um, if the length of time that you're meditating is increasing. Um, the alternative is just to push the time up a little bit here and there. Um, so you can... Um, increase I wouldn't increase the amount of time you're meditating for by any more than five minutes at a stretch so um, after a couple of weeks of meditation switch from 10 minutes to 15 minutes after a couple of more weeks of 15 minutes then switch to 20 minutes um, and you can also experiment with longer periods of time so see what happens if you meditate for an hour um, nothing bad is going to happen. Uh, nothing is going on. Um, and uh, if you do that, make sure that you allow yourself to be comfortable. So if sitting cross-legged on the floor for an hour sounds like torture, then sit in a chair or make sure that you allow yourself to change your posture during the meditation period. Um, Try not to open your eyes if you can. Keep meditating while you change your posture, while you get more comfortable. Um, but see, uh, see how that feels, because we've all sat in a chair for one hour. It's certainly doable. Um, but 
that will be a bit of a stretch to start with to try sitting for a full hour um, if we're generally accustomed to sitting for 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, but I think the, the major takeaway from all of this is um, not to necessarily stretch yourself all the time. Um, instead, to do what is comfortable for you and to do what you feel you can also comfortably maintain. It would be better to meditate uh, 10 hours a day, every day, twice a day, uh, seven days a week, than to meditate one hour once a week. Um, so uh, keep that in mind. And with that, I'll start the timer, which is behind me. Sorry, I should have had that ready. <laughs> For anyone who wants to do uh, guided meditation, now is your time to go. So we'll see you tomorrow. And everyone else, we'll start the 10 minute timer now.
that's our timer. Um, while you're meditating, often thoughts come up, and uh, I had a repeated thought that, um, and since a lot of you know Pop, I thought it would be nice for us to thank Pop in this video. Um, if you're familiar with the Winnie the Pooh story, uh, where Piglet's house is destroyed, and he's homeless for some time, and Pooh invites Piglet to come stay at Pooh's house. Um, sometimes you're Pooh, and sometimes you're Piglet. Uh, today, we are Piglet, <laughs> and Pop is Pooh. So, thank you, Pop. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a nice day, everybody.